Hello everyone, welcome to the Hump Day Report today with Country Cuss, and by golly we made it to September the 1st, and uh, I believe, I'm pretty sure tomorrow, September the 2nd, would be my grandma's birthday, so happy, grand happy birthday to Grandma uh, Westbrook in heaven. Anyway, uh, we're going to do something today, I got a camera to hold different angle. I don't know if y'all can see the guitar okay or not, but I might turn around here in a second. What I did, I created a little fun uh, back and track loop with the Ditto Looper. This morning, for y'all to play over, and it's a song like a song, but we're going to throw some extra notes in there because that way we can call it ours, if you know what I mean. All right, let me explain what we're going to be doing. And I've done wrote the back and track using the th three. First three, the top three strings, these little big fat ones, I can't, I, I can't play it yet because I got my amp cut down where y'all can hear me. When I turn the amp on, the backing track's looping right now, and it's simple. It's an A, and then it goes to a, uh, let's see, it goes to a B uh, flat, yep, A. No, let's see, B, no, it goes to us. A, I'm going to figure it out in a minute, folks, A, C, D, F, let's go back to the A, and then you'll hear me back all the way down here to the F, which is the first fret, and then I'll go to a G, uh, Let's see, that would be a, that would be a F sharp or a G flat, and then to a G, and then to the A, so. No, I skipped it. I go from an F to a G. We'll get it figured out in a minute, folks. Anyway, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to play and noodle around over the top of this, and, uh, Get it set, and then I'll let it play a minute, and y'all can play with it. See what you can come up with. A pretty little tune, but it's just another way of practice. And remember, I done told you, practice makes perfect. Remember, practice keeping your dragon fingers right here down, keeping your bar dead center of the frets. You, you want them right dead over the fret. You don't want them back here or up there. You want them on top. That's where you're, you get your note or notation or your chord from dead on top so keep that in mind while you're playing and if you uh, miss a note or two that's okay you can have it in your own mind that well you done it different all right well further ado I'm on. <laughs>
I said, it's a simple little tune. Uh, let me cut the, turn around here, cut the ditto looper off, and uh, turn my lap steel on it. The way I created the track was I used these top big fat three strings, and I just went. track and then playing over I was real subtle and just like thing is when you're playing pay attention to your right hand technique you can pull up and skip or, or you can cross pick it like I'm pulling and starting on the second string. Here and I'm pulling back toward me. And then I'm just playing old strum in there.
anyway, it's all with your right hand technique and your left. You can uh, you can staccato it like. C, a D, a F, and going down to the back to the A, and the A's right here at the fifth fret, and then we're using that low F right there, kind of like a suspense chord. Then going to the G, then finalizing back on the A, giving it a little roll in. right there that I showed you. They just uh, probably a couple of thousand songs you can play around and rearrange them same notes and come up with. Anyway, the weather today has been uh, going to be wonderful. It's uh, about 8 o'clock here in the morning and like I said, it's the first day of September, so happy September everybody. I hope you're doing well. Uh, we got about I think I seen the report yesterday, 29 to 30 cases in the hospital of the coronavirus here in our county, and uh, that's way too many. But anyway, I'm still staying out of the way of people's and still ordering stuff online that I need. So uh, I'm going to continue doing that until all this stuff is gone. It may never be gone. Uh, who knows? But anyway. I hope y'all stay well, and then uh, I hope y'all have great weather today. I don't know who's got what happened to them with this hurricane that come through. It was really bad down there in Louisiana and Mississippi, parts of Alabama. It got rough. We got a spin off of rain and some wind yesterday. Don't know of any damage. We didn't have no flooding. They did in South Georgia, way down south right there next to the Florida State line around Bowd Oster and Blakey County and Coffee County and Cook County, all them that's laying right down there in what I call the swamp area. Uh, they got it pretty bad as far as water and wind. It was a uh, gusty wind here about 40, 50 mile an hour gust sometime yesterday. I uh, actually got outside when it quit raining and wind was blowing strong and boy did it feel good because it was like 80 degrees but that wind it blowed all them bugs gnats and mosquitoes away so it was wonderful i sat out there on my back porch in the wind till the sun went completely down and then i come in the house anyway y'all be good out there and just think I'll be having some baked uh, pork and beans this week. You know, that's another thing. Uh, uh, I got an email from somebody from the UK. Hey, Graham. And uh, by golly, uh, from what I read, they don't have pork and beans over there. So I feel sorry for y'all if you don't. I couldn't imagine a country without pork and beans. Uh, we need to get together somehow. Y'all can send them UK people some pork and beans, or better than that, get some bush baked beans, southern style. We doggy with the barbecue sauce already laid upon it. All right, y'all come back to see me. If you're not a subscriber, go right down there. Yep, that's where it is. And hit that subscribe up button. See y'all later.